Good morning. It's showing day. No, wait, it's not. Realty picture day. Good morning. It, the floor is creaking. Well, as you can see, the house is definitely still a mess, but I need to get the wall art painted and dried in five hours. I think I'm gonna be able to get everything done. Uh, I've got a couple bathrooms to clean and everything. So I'm just gonna get this quickly put together, and I hope you guys really enjoy watching it being painted, as well as being displayed for staging my home for sale. So my goal with this is to make it abstract with my favorite colors, hopefully something you'd really enjoy. So I've got some paints here, and I'm going to be using colors that will tie in the decor that I already have around my house. I'm gonna get started. Intuitive painting is exactly what it sounds like. Now in life, I don't generally follow the do whatever feels right kind of thing, but with creativity, I kind of do. I don't always have an end picture in mind and I just let the, the art develop as it comes seeing how things go and trying to change things and tweak it until it pleases my eye. So a lot of that is going on here. So I do like how this paint is dripping. At this point I kind of thought, yeah I could go with that, but then once I turned the paintings this way and things started dripping like zigzaggy, things kind of start going south. And especially when I went to the gray when I turned it again here. It it just it got a little too busy and then worst of all I put this glitter paint on in kind of a circular motion oh it it looked I don't know chaotic and trashy and I didn't like it <laughs> here I was starting to hold my breath a little bit because I really didn't like it anymore so I had to think quick while the paint was wet start moving it around and seeing what I could do so that's when I brought in the paintbrush and thought, oh, I don't know if I want to put these up on my wall. If I can't see them, I might throw them away. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't have to do that. I just kept um, pulling the paint and pushing the paint and figuring out really how to make it work because at this point I didn't know if I could. So sometimes in life, Things, things don't look good, but keep pushing through because it could become something beautiful and I think that's the case with these paintings. I'm so glad that I kept going and just adding more good colors on top of the ugly spots. <laughs> so um, here I think the teal saved the day, honestly. I thought it blended really well, especially this green and, and teal that came from the yellow and blue. Um, the purple, oh, I just love purple. The brightness of the yellow. I didn't used to like yellow, but it is a very happy color, so I've come to love it as well. And as I continued to move the paint around and, and seeing the white blending the different ones together, I started to get kind of a method to my madness and I really like this painting technique. I think I'm gonna do this again. So these colors are different colors that I, like I said, wanted to tie in from around my house, but specifically for staging the master bedroom. I wanted these to go on the wall to really draw everything together, make it seem cohesive, so that when people come through or see the realty photos online, that they would feel like this is a trendy and bright place. So I'll show you at the end some, some of the close-ups of brush strokes, but I just love how this yellow and blue and teal mix together. The, the colors of peacock feathers, I've painted those before on this channel, but I love this abstract just looking at the colors that God put into nature in like peacock feathers. So that's kind of what inspired this. I love the, the darks and the lights and um, 
I ended up adding more white in at the end so that there was bigger contrast and brighter colors and this is really where I started loving the paintings just that that blue and purple spreading the navy yeah um, these are my colors <laughs> so sometimes the yellow wouldn't mix in so great but just trying to figure out uh, how to pull my paintbrush and you know kind of dragging it through the different puddles of paint and which directions to go in this is a pretty fun technique so I encourage you to try it and I don't think you can go wrong with it because there's no end goal in mind if you don't feel like you have talent for realistic drawings you might really uh, enjoy this kind of wide brush paint mixing technique of um, vertical and horizontal and just your favorite colors and I do think that adding the metallic paint at first, I wasn't sure about it. It kind of looked maybe a little muddy blended in with the others. So I think in the future, if I was gonna do this again, I might actually wait until these bright, bold colors have dried. I haven't decided about this. So you can look at these zoomed in pictures of the brush strokes and tell me what you think in the comments below if you would please. Well, how would you approach this if you were doing a similar painting? Because I do think the gold adds something, I was hoping something rich. You can see it a little bit better. The, the glimmer, once you get up close to the art, I thought was really pretty, but on the video it kind of looks a little bit dull and muddy, so that wasn't my favorite. So I'm open to constructive criticism. Maybe you're an experienced painter who has done abstract art a lot, and maybe you have some great ideas that we all could learn from. I'd love to hear what you have to say. There are some things I would do differently. I would probably leave the gray out if I was doing this again. It just didn't blend very well with the other colors. Here at the end, I'm going over the top of things, trying to add brighter contrast, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the wall of my staged home, which, by the way, I'm happy to report, got an offer uh, 15 over asking price on the second day. That was from the second person who viewed our home, so thank God. It was an easy selling process and such a blessing. So this was just a quick combination of colors that I enjoy, and I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, would you please hit that thumbs up button, click subscribe below if you want more creative content like this, and to be notified of upcoming videos, click that notification bell. I try to upload a new video every Friday. YouTube thinks you'd enjoy this video, and if you want to watch more painting videos, click on this playlist. I'll see you in the next one.